What's going on everyone? This is Michael, back with another video for you. Today I'll be talking about a young man, uh, the author of The Iron Triangle, uh, Vince Everett Ellison. Uh, I'm going to bring to you a short clipping that he done um, with a podcast with a young man um, talking about Joe Biden and, and Kamala Harris. So stay tuned. He is the author of The Iron Triangle, Inside the Liberal Democrat Plan to Use Race to Divide Christians in America in Their Quest for Power, and Now We Can Defeat Them. How's it going, Vince? How are you? Oh, man, I'm doing great. When I heard that Joe, Joe had chosen Kamala Harris, I thought it was Christmas time. Yeah. Was, that's amazing. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> no, I'm happy to hear you feel the same way. Now, aside from that, though, what is your personal take, aside from hearing, you know, it does feel like Christmas time, but... What is your personal take on Kamala Harris as not only a running mate, a VP, and as a person? First, it shows you that she's desperate and Joe's a racist. I mean, right. good God, the Democratic Party said for a long time that, they, that we should not be looking at race or gender bias. And Joe Biden then uh, excludes 85% of the American population from his, from, from, from his choice by using race and gender bias. Right. I mean, he, he, he completely contradicted everything that he said that we're supposed to leave in as a nation by choosing her. She completely contradicted it by accepting the choice. Uh, you know, when, you, when somebody tells you, I'm choosing you because of your race or your gender, you're supposed to have enough, I don't know, self-respect to say, I don't want it based on that. Right. If I'm not the best, I don't want it and I don't need it. He gave it to her. She took it. It tells you who they are. Plus, on top of all of that, man, you know, um, she got this promotion based upon her, I guess, her previous work uh, 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 ethic. Uh, she, she took um, uh, San Francisco. She destroyed it. And she, uh, the black community, she's destroyed it. California, yep. she's made it a socialist utopia. And now she's going to do it for the rest of the nation. She's going to take 50 states and make them just like California, San Francisco. And if you love the inner cities of Chicago, the inner cities of Detroit, the inner cities of L.A., you're going to love America in eight years of Joe Biden and Kamala Harris. No, you're right. And I want to bring something up right here, just based on what you said. Now, in a statement after her selection, Kamala Harris tweeted this. At Joe Biden can unify the American people because he spent his life fighting for us. Meanwhile, Biden has shown numerous times over the course of his career that he's been racially insensitive, and Kamala's track record consists of terrorizing black communities through the prison industrial complex. And she even defended the three, the three strikes law in which black people are incarcerated at a rate 12 times higher than whites. So what is your take on all of that? This is what the Democratic Party has done since their inception in 1800. Their primary goal was to control the black community. They did it from 1800 to 1860 through slavery, 1860, 1865 with the Confederacy killed almost a million Americans to keep their slaves, keep black people under their control. When they lost the war, they then turned to Jim Crow. And for 100 years, they systematically disobeyed the law. They disobeyed the 13th, 14th, 15th Amendment. They used black codes. They lynched. They hung. They looted. They raped. They murdered. They did everything they could to control black people. And after the Civil Rights Movement, what did they do? They used this iron triangle. Most black people, I mean, most black preachers, most black politicians, and most black civic organizers to do one thing, to keep black people under their control. There's never been a time in the history of this nation that the Democratic Party hasn't gotten their power off of the backs of black people. And they do this, number one, by making sure that the black man is castrated mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. They try to destroy him every chance they get. Prison, taking his family from him, giving a terrible education, uh, uh, to making sure he cannot work. Locking him up in a cage. Kamala Harris has been behind it. Joe Biden has been behind it. They've locked up and destroyed more black men than I don't think, I think, any group of people in the history of the world. Yeah. But this time they're going to pay for it. No, you, you know what? You, I, I believe you're right. And we know this. We know Kamala Harris became the first, well, she's being called the first black female candidate for vice president. But um, she's also the first Asian American candidate on a major presidential ticket. And her father, we know, is Jamaican. Her mother is Indian. And there's discussion as to whether she should be announcing that she is an African-American. Do you believe Kamala Harris is going to hurt Trump when it comes to the black vote? Well, with her, her, her track record only, with how she's treated black men, 
I mean, good God Almighty, she's locked them up. She talked about smoking dope herself and locked up thousands in prison in California for doing the same exact thing. I can't think of anything good that she's done. She's against school choice, so she wants to lock black children in these terrible schools. She's for disarming. She's, she, she's for disarming uh, 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 the black community because she's for against the Second Amendment and she's for gun confiscation. So she's going to leave black men at the mercy of police. She's going to leave black men at the mercy of gangs that are hunting them. Now, they say they've been hunted by police and by the gangs, not me. They say it. And she says, we're going to take your guns. She says, we're going to let all the illegals come in. We're going to tear down the border. If the illegals come in, we're going to offer them free medical care, free education, free college, free everything. And then they're going to compete for your jobs, compete for spaces in your schools, come right. compete uh, 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 for, 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 for space uh, where, where you live so that the rents go up. And they're going to compete for, wa- com- compete for wages. She's for abortion up to the ninth month. It's not like they killed enough black people, okay? They want to make sure they kill them in the womb. So she's for abortion up to the ninth month. This is amazing. You know, if black people ever start voting, their religion, if they allow their religion to flow into their politics, the Democratic Party will be dead because the Democratic Party is also against your freedom to exercise and practice your religion the way you see fit. This party is the darkest, meanest, most evil organization that's ever existed for this long of time in the history of the world. Right. Now, one of the things we were talking about actually before the show, I was discussing with your publicist, she said one of the bullet points was that we were discussing was how does phony Kamala help win Ohio and Michigan? Now, can she help Biden win states like Ohio and Michigan? And if so, how? Hell no, man. You got people in Ohio and Michigan they don't have anything in common with what's going on in California and San Francisco. Right. When you look at San Francisco and what they've done to that beautiful city, I mean, just a beautiful city. Now they have druggies and hippies and feces on the street, needles all over the place, crime everywhere. It is a dystopia. And you know what? The saddest part of it, they're proud of it. Joe Biden has looked at what's happening in Black America right now, and he said he's proud. And to all my liberal white friends out there, I want to ask you, how can you look yourselves in the mirror and see what the Democratic Party has done to the Black community over the past 220 years to still support this party? When you look at the dystopia, when you look at the young children being murdered in the streets, when you look at the, the looting and the crime and, and the terrible schools exactly. and the breakup of the family, knowing all of that goes back to the Democratic Party. My question to you white liberals, are, haven't you done enough to the black community? Have you killed enough of my people? When are you going to stop? You're not going to stop here all dead, I reckon. So you bring in Joe Biden and, 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 and Kalat Kamala to do the rest of it. You ought to be ashamed of yourself. Yep. Now, here's what I want to know. Do you think... Biden's pledge to select a woman as his vice president was a genuine effort to, you know, essentially ease frustration among Democrats that the presidential race would center on two white men in their 70s. I mean, is, is this, you know, is that potentially why he would select a woman as, as a vice president? No, he did that to win the primary. Uh, you know, it was, it, was, it was getting pretty rough on Joe in the primary. He had a bunch of women running against him. All of them were, were better qualified than he was, and he knew it. So in order to, 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 he looked at his numbers, he knew that's why he was lacking, and he knew that in order to win this race, to get that primary, he had to do one, he had to do two things. Pull the women in and pull in the minorities because he had been an old racist all of his life. So in order to win the primary, he got it. Now he's trying to shift to the center, and he knows that he can't do it. He knows that he can't. So he's trying to lie his way out of it. He chose himself a woman. He chose himself a black person, hoping now that he can kind of he, you know, he, he wants to try to move away from his misogynistic and his, you know, because he was creepy Joe, remember, kissing on all the women, <laughs> right. grabbing on them, right. stealing on them. Yeah. So he gets a woman. He's racist, Joe, because what's he doing? He said all these terrible things about black people. If you ain't, if you, if you don't, if you, you're not black if you don't vote for me. All of y'all think the same. Uh, They're going to put y'all back in chains. All the racist things he's done in the past, yeah. he tried to use that to cover up what he's done. Yep. But it's not going to work. Joe is an old Dixiecrat. He's locked up more black men than any person in the history of the world. And he's going to have to pay for it. There's a reckoning. And, and what he's done, done with Kamala Harris is not going to be enough to sue him because she's locked up almost as many as he has. Yeah. Vince, I got to tell you right now, as soon as this new news broke, I knew you'd be the right guy to talk to. Thank you so much. Unfortunately, that's all the time we have for right now. 
But hope we see you soon, brother. I'll, I'll give you a call next week. Well, thank you. Well, brother, thank you very much. God bless you. And while Joe and Kamala's locking up black men, Donald Trump is cutting them loose. Remember right. that.